Welcome to Fun with Science. In today's video, we are going to discuss parts of flower and their functions. What is flower? Flowers are the reproductive part of angiosperms. Now let us look at the parts of a flower. There are mainly four major parts of the flower. The first one is calyx. The second colorful part is called as corolla. And the top part is called as androsium. And the innermost part is called as gynosium. Now let us look at these parts individually in more detail. The first one is calyx. The outermost wall of flower has green leafy structures known as sepals. The sepals collectively called the calyx. The function of the sepal is to protect the flower in its bud condition. Now let us look at the second part that is corolla. The second wall is comprised of petals usually brightly colored collectively called the corolla. Petals help the flower to attract insects for pollination. It is for this reason that they are often brightly colored, showy and of interesting patterns and sizes. The next part being androsium. The third wall contains the male reproductive structure and it is known as the androsium. The androsium has stamens. The stamen is the male reproductive organ of a flower. Each stamen contains two main parts. The filament is the long cylindrical tendril part of the stamen, while anther is a sac that sits at the top of the filament. The anther is where the pollen is produced. The next part is gynesium. The innermost group of structures in the flower is the gynesium. It is the female reproductive part of a flower. The carpel is the individual unit of the gynesium and has a stigma, style and ovary. Ovary contains ovules which develop as seeds in the future. This was all about the parts of the flower and the detailed explanation of each individual part. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Like, share and subscribe with Fun with Science.